everybody. Welcome to Rogers Wranglers. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2010 JK Series Wrangler sitting right back here behind us. Stay with us. I'm Chad, your local Jeep salesman right here in the low country of Charleston, South Carolina. All right, everybody. So if you've been looking for a Jeep Wrangler two-door, this might be the one for you right here. It's a good looking Jeep. It's also got some nice extras on it. We'll talk about all that today and we'll kind of walk through, let you see the actual condition of this Wrangler, the interior under the hood, and talk about price and mileage and all that good stuff. So Rogers Wranglers, also known as Rogers Enterprises, 552-1330, we sell all types of vehicles. Wranglers is about uh, 30 to 40% of our inventory. We keep all the Jeep Wranglers down on this side of the lot. And then down that way is all of our other vehicles like Toyotas and Hondas and just all types of vehicles. But we love Jeeps. Jeeps is a passion for the dealership and for a few of the guys here that work here. They love driving them off road and all that. And uh, it turned into a business about three or four years ago where they started selling Jeep Wranglers. So we got a great inventory. As you can see, whether you're looking for four doors or even two doors, we got them. So this is your JK Series Wrangler 2010 with 88,000 miles on it, so not too bad. A few uh, upgrades it has. First off, we'll talk about the front here. You got a little bit different grill. Some call it the Angry Birds grill or something like that, but it looks a little more aggressive. Gives a little sportier look to me. Um, also, it's got LED headlights and LED fog lights, which is really nice. So, uh, you know, they got the little halo ring around there and they're much brighter at nighttime and all that. And again, I do like that they have those right there as well. And they have the little ring around the fog light too. So that matches up quite nicely and it looks good at nighttime. It's much brighter. Um, than your traditional headlight that came on the vehicle from the manufacturer. Now, other things we got, right? Um, paint, fresh paint. Rogers Wranglers, they're really good about making sure the Jeeps are going to be in the best shape condition-wise and mechanically. Um, this vehicle has a new paint job on it. Uh, Jeeps a lot of times are out in the heat at the beach, on the off-road, and the sun bakes on this paint. Oxidation starts to happen, and uh, you'll get some, you know, fadage of the paint over the years. So uh, we, we get our vehicles resprayed in most cases. So you got fresh paint, not due to anything like an accident or anything, just freshen it up a little bit. Nothing wrong with that. And uh, I think a lot of customers really appreciate that we do stuff like that. Um, this one does have a nice looking set of BF Goodrich all-terrain TA tires. Great tire for the street. Great tire to get in a little gravel, a little dirt, sand, and have a little fun on the off-road. So you got those on your stock 17-inch five-star Jeep wheel. Um, also, we've added on to this Jeep the side, I mean, some call them side steps, which definitely is what you do. You can step on there and get into the Jeep but also a uh, rock slider, as they call it. So it drops down a little bit right in there and protects the side of this vehicle here. If you do go off-roading a little bit and you get into some little spots, this will protect the sides of the Jeep so you don't hurt anything under there. So you got those, those are nice, they really are. If you put a little lift on here and a little different setup, you're gonna really appreciate those, uh, those side steps slash rock sliders. It's got a soft top. Soft top's in pretty good shape, as you can see there. No rips, no tears. I mean, we won't sell you a Jeep Wrangler with a soft top with rips and tears and all. Um, this one actually looks to be pretty new. And uh, a lot of times, if the Jeep Wrangler tops um, are in uh, you know, a little bit rougher shape, we'll just go ahead and replace the entire thing. And that may have been the case on this one here. This one does got the tint on the windows, which is nice. You can get them untinted or tinted. Most people want them with the tint, so that's what you got on this one. Fifth wheel on the back. The fifth wheel does not match the BFGs on the outside, So, but you do got some tread on this fifth wheel. And uh, you can always buy an extra BFG if you want a little bit later down the road. So anyways, you got new tires all the way around and then you got your Wrangler Goodyear tire on the fifth wheel there. This one does not have a tow package, so you may wanna add that on later down the road if you plan on hooking up to a, a little small boat, trailer, or something like that. Um, not a whole lot of room behind the back seat in a JK Series Wrangler, I wanna let you know that. So again, if you need a lot of cargo space and you got kids and this, that, and the other, and you plan on going to the beach, I would suggest going with a four-door Jeep. If it's just you and another person, and maybe you got the kids, whatever, and maybe this is the third vehicle just to go out on the weekends with, that may be fine. But it's not a lot of space, as you can see. Pretty tight back here, okay? It does work, but again, it's kind of tight. Um, the back seat does fold down and does flip up, or you can take it out if you don't need it back there. So just know that. And that's why Jeep came out with four-door Jeeps back in 2007, to give you more room. 
what else we got going on right because out the exterior everything's nice and clean this one does have the roll-up windows so this is probably a wrangler x 3.8 liter v6 under the hood um with the kind of tannish grayish colored interior seats are in good shape armrest looks good um got carpet on the floors automatic transmission four-wheel drive cold ac factory cd player with auxiliary cord again to me the bit one of the main perks of this vehicle is the low mileage at eighty-eight thousand miles back seat looks good and the top and all looks to be pretty good as well let's hop in take a look at the mileage so i can give the exact mileage on this one there you go eighty-eight thousand five five eight. you also notice no check engine lights other than the seat belt light and uh so nothing like that and uh this one is really nice low mileage so you may wonder to yourself you know what does a 2010 wrangler with eighty-eight thousand miles go for right um usually a jeep like this will be anywhere between thirteen thousand and fifteen thousand dollars somewhere in that range okay um i don't know the exact price that we're asking for this one right now but if you need that please give me a call or send me a message here on facebook or online and I'll do the best I can to pull up this Jeep for you in our inventory and give an exact price quote out the door, what you'd be at with taxes, tags, and all. So you got that, right? It's a range. Usually under 15K is kind of what these go for, somewhere around there. Now, we do offer on lot financing at our dealership. We do it every day of the week. People stop by, maybe they don't want to go through a bank or credit union or something like that, and they need a little help with the finance side. We don't do any credit checks, okay? So it's really easy to get approved for financing. All you got to do is have some cash to put down, driver's license, full coverage insurance. That is literally all you need. Some people say, well, don't you need my pay stubs and all that kind of stuff for proof of income? Not at all. We're not concerned with that. Again, cash down, driver's license, full coverage insurance with $500 deductible is all we require. So how much cash down, you may say, right? Well, if the Jeep was priced at $13,900, technically we require around $3,500 cash down. If it was a 14.9 Jeep, it'd be $4,500 down. And like this one over here, a 15.9 Jeep is usually around $5,500 down. We can work with you a little bit on that down payment, so call me and let me know. If you're shy a little bit, let's say you don't have the, maybe you're $500 off from having the full down payment, just let me know. We'll work with you and try to get you into a Jeep and let you take it home, and you can come back in two weeks and pay the 500 difference off with us, and then those car payments will start. But either way, let me know what I can do for you. You've got a big selection of Jeep Wranglers. If you're out of state, we do not offer our on-lot finance program to people out of state. You would need to bring in your certified funds from your bank or however you want to do that with you when you come down and just take it home that way so i always suggest picking out a jeep online and then coming down and visiting us if you live out of state and make sure you're ready to do business when you get here all vehicles are certified they go through the shop get inspected and maintenance done and all of that we do offer an on lot finance program warranty six months six thousand miles if you finance with us you can purchase that warranty as well but again pay attention six months or six thousand miles that covers engine transmission electrical ac all your major components of the jeep but again it's 599 dollars to buy that warranty if you're bringing your own funds from your bank so it does come included in the down payment with your taxes and tags and everything when you do on lot financing with us when you put that 35 to 4500 dollars down Anyways, guys, that's it. For no further ado, let's get on out of here. Visit us online at rogerswranglers.com. And again, I'm Chad in sales, one of the top Jeep salesmen here in the low country of South Carolina. Been doing it for many years now. Been in the car business since 2001. But really, I'd love to help you out and get you a vehicle and make it happen. Have a great day, guys. Again, my name is Chad. Come visit me at Rogers Wranglers in North Charleston on Dorchester Road, just down the street from the beautiful Charleston Air Force Base.